So in Philippians 4, Paul says, hey, Philippians, any people of Philippi, anything that you've learned from me, anything that you've seen me do, anything that you've, you know, like understood from me, anything that, any of it, if you've seen me do it or I've been involved, do those things and the God of peace will, res, you know, reside in you. And I just think, man, what a bold statement. You know, like not only the things that I've taught you, the things that you've heard from me, but even the th things that you've seen in me and how much, you know, like, man, would some, would you tell somebody that, Hey, do the things that I do and God will rest in you. Whew, that's tough. And I think that whenever it comes to discipleship, you know, like, cause that's what we've, I've kind of been on and, and that's what I'm kind of, I'm going to continue to kind of roll out the next like couple, couple weeks, maybe a month, you know, in is, and I'm just thinking, man, why don't we do discipleship? And I think part of it is because, man, look at the boldness. If I'm going to disciple someone else, they're going to be looking, they're going to be learning from me, but they're also going to be watching me. And I have to be able to say, hmm, those things that you see me do, you do as well. And, you know, like that's a high standard. And so I just want to, you know, like recommend, like if you don't feel like you're at that high standard, okay, that's all right. But you should be being discipled by someone. So use that same boldness. You know, you can practice that boldness by going to somebody and saying, look, I want to learn from you. I want, I want to be discipled by you. I want to, to be able to grow together, and I want to spend that time. If you seek out someone, and I mean, maybe it's not the first person you talk to. Maybe it's the second, the third. But whoever, you find someone that is spiritually mature and has the things that you're looking for, and you go to them and you say, I need you to disciple me. I need you to, to teach me. I need to learn from you. And then you learn and you do the things that they do. And wow, I mean, like I said, I, I think that as we start to become more and more like our teacher, which ultimately is Jesus, then that boldness can shine through because we know that we are, you know, like we're, we're trusting in the Lord and that we are growing in that relationship. So I just encourage you, you know, like this boldness is going to come. And if you're already discipling somebody or if you're going to disciple someone, I mean, Read that scripture again and again and again and see your place. You know, like you need to be as best as possible blameless. And so that being said, thanks for taking a minute.